Having the right mouse sensitivity is crucial in any tactical FPS game. In CS2, you use your mouse to aim, line up nades, and look around. Considering you need to be using your mouse constantly throughout the game, it is very crucial to not be limited by bad and potentially even harmful sensitivity choices. So you don't make these bad choices, let me give you some not so well known tips for finding what's the right sensitivity for you. To start off, we need to understand how we measure sensitivity. The main way we do it in CS is by comparing the eDPI. eDPI is simply the result of multiplying the DPI of your mouse with your in-game sensitivity. Most mice will have the options to change its DPI in the software like Razer Synapse or G-Hub or have a fixed one that should be noted on its packaging or product page. And this is the first tip. You'd think that 800 DPI and 1 sensitivity should be the same as 400 DPI and 2 sensitivity. After all, they both have the same eDPI of 800. But there is a slight difference. The higher the DPI of your mouse, the more movement and smaller movement it is able to notice. If a movement is small enough, it won't be noticed on 400 DPI, but would be on 800 DPI. After all, the in-game sensitivity just multiplies the information received from the mouse to calculate the corresponding movement in the game. If the mouse doesn't notice any movement in one direction, the in-game sensitivity won't have anything to multiply. This way, you can lower your mouse sensitivity to achieve a sort of auto-aiming stabilizing effect. This can be especially helpful if you have a very loose grip and tend to suffer from a lot of shaking while aiming. The second tip you want to consider while choosing a sensitivity is the type of game and gameplay you will encounter. Counter-Strike as a game tends to have a very narrow window of action. If you get shot from an enemy outside of your field of view, you will most likely not have a chance to fight back either way. Therefore, you should focus as much as possible on being able to accurately flick onto any point in your field of view. Seeing as a lot of players play a 4-3 stretch aspect ratio, this will be quite a low FOV, which is also why most CS2 pros have relatively low ETPIs of about 830. So that's why the main reason low sense is preferred over a high one is the accuracy and precision you get from it. As you lower your sensitivity, you cover less space with each mouse movement and it's far easier to hit headshots with a low sensitivity than a high one. Games where opponents move faster or they simply come at you from more sides will have higher average eDPIs. Apex Legends, for example, has an average sensitivity of about 1200 eDPI and games like Fortnite nearly double the number of CS with 1400 to 1600 eDPI on average. This is only really useful if you make use of the same mechanics as the pros, meaning pre-aim and common positions, only make micro adjustments based on where the enemy actually is once you peek them and use utility to restrict the amount of angles you are exposed to at the same time. If you prefer to do 360 no scopes and 180 degree spray transfers, choosing a higher sensitivity would obviously suit you better so given those, the general consensus among the competitive community is choosing an eDPI between 600 to 1200. Keep in mind that when doing micro adjustments, you want to utilize your wrist and when doing large swipes, you want to rely more on your arm. If you exclusively use your wrist for any aiming motion, you run a risk of putting a lot of stress on your wrist muscles and wrist injuries. Similarly, using your arm only can be very tiring and limit how accurate you can aim. You generally have finer control with your wrist muscles than your arm muscles. Your ideal ETPI will allow you to use both depending on the situation you are in. The next tip you want to consider is your desk space and mouse pad size. The less room you have to move around your mouse, the higher you want to put your sensitivity. And the bigger your desktop and mouse pad, the lower you can allow yourself to go in terms of sensitivity. Turkish pro player Waxik is known for his insanely high sense. The reason he had high sense is when he was growing up playing CS, he had very little room on his desk and he had no other choice. Nevertheless, he has and is still playing high level pro CS for many years and is a very skilled aimer. This shows the most important part I want to highlight here. Neither high or low sensitivity has any innate advantage. Your ability to aim is mostly strongly influenced by how comfortable you are with it. By using what others choose as a point of reference and being honest about your restrictions, you can find a sweet spot. Most importantly, however, is to not change too often. Being comfortable is all about and getting used to something, and that comes with time. I'll be making a more in-depth CS2 mouse sensitivity guide in the future, so subscribe so you don't miss out on it. See you guys in the next one.